Olympic National Championships. And we move to the 139 pound weight class, Chad Dawson and Dumont Welliver. And now quite a bit of a difference as far as experience is concerned in this bout. Chad Dawson in his very first uh, Junior Olympic competition and for Dumont Welliver, he was the uh, bronze medalist at uh, this competition in his rank last year and his rank number five in the United oh. States in the Junior Olympic rankings. So we'll see how that all plays itself out here. Oliver in the blue from Spokane, Washington. Another East Coast, West Coast um, battle with uh, Dawson coming from New Haven, Connecticut. Nice left hook in there from Welliver. He's showing some power. Dawson getting pressured here in round one. And then Dawson responding with a pretty good left hand of his own. Good action here in round one. Nice right hand by Welliver. See, he knows to use that hook against the lefty. He's very much trying to get that left hook into the body and the head. Dawson told to keep the head up. Ducked away from that well of her bomb. Good jab there. But Austin. Awesome. Good right hand by Welliver as the left hand of Dawson just kind of stayed there. This is definitely a posture that Welliver wants him in where he can put Dawson on the ropes and then start ripping those body and head shots. Ooh, Dawson with a good shot. You can see that Chad Dawson, if you're a, a, a tall, angular left-hander in amateur boxing, right away you've got something going for you because mm -hmm. you, can, you can get it done in, in a sport here where it's about scoring punches, it's about preventing your opponent from scoring, and uh, doesn't he look like every Cuban you've seen in the national scene? He has those long arms, which is a Cuban staple. Back with round two after this. Presenting the first USA PGA Tour Titanium MasterCard with a 3.9% APR for the first six months, just 9.99% thereafter, and a credit limit from $5,000 to $100,000. Think what it could bring you. Greens fees, $116. Graphite shaft clubs, $877. Balls, tees, $36. Hole in one. And a witness, priceless. <laughs> there are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's the first USA PGA Tour Titanium MasterCard. Call 1-800-371-0065 now. You could save hundreds of dollars by transferring your balances from higher interest rate credit cards. And you'll receive a dozen top flight golf balls free with your first purchase or balance transfer. Call now and request the first USA PGA Tour or senior PGA Tour Titanium MasterCard for the first USA Titanium MasterCard. Call now for your free gift. Some awkward action in the last round. Welliver getting tangled up here with Dawson, kind of hanging on to his left hand, and they would spin around a little bit even after that, but uh, Welliver trying to work on the inside. Second of three rounds underway. At stake, the 139-pound championship. The Junior Olympic National Finals here on ESPN. Glad you can join us. Bob Papa along with Al Bernstein. Chad Dawson, a 15-year-old from New Haven, Connecticut against Dumont Welliver, 16 years of age from the state of Washington. Both these men pretty tall for this weight division. Uh, 
It's Dawson at 5'11", and uh, Welliver 5'9". There's the hook from Welliver. He's been able to get that. He's getting the jab in a little bit more. Oh, nice mm. right uppercut by Welliver. So when you vary your punches like that, I mean, you're always better off. And that was really a textbook example of how you're going to land punches if you throw three different punches within about a 30-second period. Straight left from Dawson. The problem with doing that is that most boxers, and, and it's true of, unless you're one of the absolute greats, it's hard to do that. It's hard, it's hard to be capable of throwing three different punches effectively in a short period. Al, can any of these young men, realistically, as Dawson throws a hook, make the 2000 Olympic squad, or are they in that in-between age? They're, they are kind of in-between, but I think as we look at some of these talent, talented young men, we may see a couple that might be able to sneak onto the scene uh, and get it done because they'll be about 19 years old and if they're 16 now, and so it's, you know, they'll be at least in the ballpark. But it's going to be difficult, and the reason is because there have been a couple of good classes of junior Olympians just preceding them that will be fighting it out for those spots. All right, we come to the end of round number two, the third and final round after these messages. We hope you're enjoying amateur boxing on ESPN. Pop along with Al Bernstein. We begin the third and final round in the 139-pound weight class. The Junior Olympic National Championships at stake. Chad Dawson against DeMont Welliver. Because both these young men, as are all the others, high school students. Uh, Dawson from Hill House High School in the New Haven, Connecticut, and Welliver from Rogers High School in Spokane, Washington. Oh, good right hand by Welliver. Welliver has landed the more potent punches. Although in amateur boxing, a good jab is worth the same as a powerful right. His punches have been probably cleaner and easier to see also, and that's probably part of the, the equation. You could see down the road Dumont Welliver being involved in some real real shootouts, couldn't you? Because he likes to come straight forward. And if he gets the right style in front of him, another right-hander uh, who, who boxes like him, he could end up with some real, real good matches. <laughs> Kenneth Gould, a bronze medalist in the 1988 Olympics, won this 139-pound weight class in 1983. And also Michael Nunnally, a great young man who never represented the United States in the Olympics, uh, who passed away from an accident, um, was one of the most uh, beloved amateur boxers in the United States. He won it in 1989. Really a great young man. We got to know him during the time he was boxing. Right hand on the inside by Chad Dawson, but he has got a mountain to climb here that I don't think he's going to get to in the last 12 seconds. Final seconds of the bout. And there's the bell to end it. As Chad Dawson or DeMont Welliver walked away with the 139-pound title Welliver, the stronger of the two men. He landed punches that I think will stick in the judges' minds more and uh, landed more of them as well. And that usually is enough to get you the, the victory. There's that straight right hand toward the end of the uh, fight in the third round that got in against Dawson. And there's an example of a punch that's impossible to miss. Your 139-pound Junior Olympic champion, by decision, is in the blue corner. So, DeMont Welliver, a five-zip winner. He wins the 139-pound championship. 15-year-old Chad Dawson comes in second. We hope you're enjoying amateur boxing here on ESPN.